do we have any redheads in the audience? Has anyone got a natural redhead? Oh, okay, uh, yeah, what, what's your name? Rowan. Oh, Rowan, yeah, well, Rowan, Rowan, we'll just shut it outside. Of course, okay, well, Rowan, um, I'll dedicate this to you, uh, Rowan. Uh, but basically, there was a, a girl on my course called Julia, she had red hair, and she told me that she was gonna dye it another color because guys didn't like it, and she, she, she thought it, you know, her hair was rubbish, and I said, it's not rubbish, it's, it's amazing, I think red hair's great. And so I thought I'll write her a poem to cheer her up a bit and show her that, to be, that she should be proud of her hair. And that sounds really nice, doesn't it? But like, secretly, my obsession with rhyme at this point, I was, I, was, I, was just, I was just trying to find the shittest rhymes for the word gingers. <laughs> and I've nailed it. I've so nailed it. I don't think you'll find worse. So this is it. Rowan, uh, I'll dedicate it to you. As I said, it's called You Are the Hottest of All of the Gingers. <laughs> um, I'm sorry in advance. Uh, it goes like this. Aristotle claimed redheads were emotionally unhousebroken. They've always been thought to be somewhat outspoken. The Greeks would even chop off scarlet heads for fear they became vampires once they were dead. A lot is said about redheads that's totally nonsense. Designed to make you feel that your hair is a hindrance. I mean, to say that's stupid. You are certain, you know, Mia. In fact, Rowan, you're the hottest of all of the gingers. You can <laughs> say what you like, but my passion's indignant. I long for that skin with that little less pigment. Oh. <laughs> Coils of red springs you tuck back behind ears. Get back, Roman hordes, give me Bodicea. Oh, <laughs> handling men's hearts like a fireball with teeth. So much red on that head and still red down beneath. <laughs> <laughs> Even when munching on pancakes from Findus, <laughs> you are the hottest of all of the gingers. <laughs> Hair do resembles a blaze of a porcelain. Each flick of red tip I find totally awesome. When it comes to those curls, be proud, don't regret it, because studies have proved you need more anaesthetic. Yes, power and beauty both live in your blood. Plus, it's easy to spot you late night in a club. <laughs> Almost as rare as that list, what was Schindler's? <laughs> Grubby, so we need more than one. Don't be boorish, they're moorish. Come bring on a truck for will accept that it means we get stuck with Nick Hucknall. It's a small price to pay for hair so fresh branded, and I'm not alone in wanting to be caught out red handed. I'll munch on red cinders when I'm into Cunnilingus. <laughs> because you are the hottest of all of the gingers, so get back. All you girls in your summery thongs, unless the curlies emerging a strawberry blonde. <laughs> so, girls and brunettes have a great deal of fun. They don't need an umbrella when they go out in the sun. But we'd stay inside till we both had our fall. That Dutch on your snatch a red rag to a wall. Sorry, I know you're done and you're gone. The thought of you lingers because, round, you're the hottest of all of the gingers. <laughs> <laughs>